Hello, so, this again, Rhyme is descended from Loth, and now, and the party is deep in Loth and Lore, then Faye, Nora, and Gareth are on their way to confront Delvana. And Jewel's alive again. She's, she's going to beat Jalarum. I think I said this in my last week's rest, but yeah, she's going to beat Jalarum to that death Sunday. Uh, also, Ryan being descended from Lolf made me think of something. It's like, Glazia has the, you lost my granddaughter? That's, so now Ryan can have, you murdered my great, 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 great grandmother? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say before starting this, uh, three, two, one. <sighs> Light through the crack. You really shouldn't be listening in on a performer when he's practicing <clears throat> for something. It's rude. Oh, I, I completely forgot well, about Valil. I, I believe listening to a fellow musician legit forgot about Valil. I feel bad I now. I want feedback right now. Something right? bothering you, brother? Roll diplomacy. Okay. okay. I think you're you all are bothering him right now. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Uh, okay, Ivan, your turn. <laughs> better. <laughs> what is, I'm so glad we're not actually getting nat ones, but what is with being so close to nat one that it's uncomfortable? <laughs> putting, us on, putting us on edge. The dice are like, enjoy your tension. <laughs> yeah. dice. All right, so... Yeah, yeah, sentient dice. I'm it's like, you see Valil, yeah, like... Awful. Afraid of those Valil myself. to the left and right. And says, "Look, this is this is really personal." He he looks to he look he looks towards both Jalaram and Ivan. I'm going to need an oath, all right, that you won't say anything about this to anyone, or at the very least, don't mention me by name. All right, all right. You have a word. All right, come on. All right. <clears throat> And he shuts the door behind him. <laughs> oh, dang it! <laughs> I mean, you can put your ear against the door and do a listen check. Did you I hear guess. about the new law being proposed? Yeah. Make, yeah. Yeah. Apparently. Oh, come on! You're a bar. Places. You should love that. Yeah, reproducing outside of the species. What are your thoughts on it? I don't know. About fifty-fifty. Yeah. It, it would be better for the survival of the race, but at the same time, you know, oh, no, comes with a whole new not. host of comes with a whole new host of problems that the politicians should also consider. No, oh, yeah, if you get really think about it, almost contradictory. If you don't have, we have our cause. Well, it kind of hurts the cause if we have no people to follow said cause. True. Yeah. Everyone would be half drow, not drow. <sighs> That's what I expected you to say. What do you think about this whole thing? I don't. That's yeah, just no. it. I can't. That's just it. I haven't stopped since a few days ago. Just, <sighs> I'm struggling with emotions, strange emotions that. Emotions I don't understand, like emotions that feel wrong yet right, and everything's going topsy turvy. I don't know what's. What types of emotions are you feeling? Like for what triggered this? Oh, yeah, you see him I looking think we very, know. very fearful. <laughs> I don't. Come on, Valil, just let it out. Just let it out, Valil. Well, you have a word. Yeah. I could say from personal experience, there are no wrong 
types of emotions. It's just how you choose to express them and let them out. And since it's only the two of us here and we made an oath, you feel free to tell us anything that would make you feel better. You're being too nice for a drow, Ivan. King Ravis, he's... I look up to him very, very much, and I, I owe him everything, but there was a point when I, I wanted to betray him. Oh? What, what very happened? recently. There were... Children? You know how we keep, we're keeping the cattle up north, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The he, was, he, he was he was using he was using them as the as a bargaining chip and to help me. I felt sympathy for them. How dare you! I wanted sympathy to stop is... him. I wanted to save those kids, even though even though I know what what he was what what our king was doing was for our home. I felt I felt sympathy for the cattle. Hmm. It's normal for. Please, you can't, very unique. You can't, don't tell. Uh, well, what well, well, was it, Robus? What did Robus say? It's normal really for. I refuse to tell anyone. A farmer to. to you have our word. Grow fond of his sheep for the slaughter. All right. Just. Well, well, let me let me ask you. If you weren't in this situ, if you weren't in this situation, and you had a choice. Would you would you release the cattle? No, it's that we do need them, but it's oh. complicated. Yes, I can understand your caught between loyalty to your people and loyalty to your own ideology. But that's the thing; it's my own ideology shouldn't matter. It's the the drow should be everything. So why do I feel this? I'm starting to think I can't be trusted. Because you're a traitorous Don't swine. You are worth just as much to this people as every other individual within it. You have unique worth, and your opinion matters just as much as anybody else's. I you're wouldn't say go being... about preaching it to the heavens, but don't crack too deep down inside nice. you to the point where you expect again, Ivan. You're supposed to be a drow. Is that racist? Probably. We're all oh well. Small <laughs> pieces of one bigger puzzle that is our people, and if a piece gets removed by their own will or someone else's will, the puzzle will not be complete. Your opinions matter. I can tell you that much. It's... I just think I'm going to make a wrong decision at some point. Then I'm going to... <sighs> feel like I'm... I'm going to... I'm going to doom everything. Everything we everything we worked for, it's going to fall apart because of me. Maybe it won't. Yes. How can you tell? <sighs> to be honest, well, we can't. That's why we have to prepare for every possibility. But. I guess it's a more of what you think is just rather than what everyone else no 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 <laughs> yeah, that, nah. yeah. yeah you have Bil no, Bilil no, it's complicated up. I understand I understand you're trying I think I think I just I think I just need to be alone for a bit um, Rhyme right. comes to knock on the door because she just remembered something. 
um, in, in a moment. I'm terribly sorry, but this is about His Majesty. Um, Brother Sorn was looking for you earlier, Brother Valil, and he said that His Majesty was looking for you. I only just remembered, and I deeply apologize. Oh, of course. Yeah, they would. They would. I, again, I do not know what you were speaking of. However, I felt that I should let you know before it got too late and you might have gotten into more trouble. <sighs> Thank you. <It's... sighs> he, he stands up. Thanks for... Thanks for trying with the pep talk. It's good to know, it's good to know that... I feel like such an idiot. I bet if Ravis were here, he'd probably tell me the same thing. Eh, probably. It's not idiotic to have your own personal opinion. Trust me. Also, if Ravis were here, he might, you know, yes. be like, wait a second. That, that, that one that over there opinion. has similar mannerisms to Jalarum. And that one over there to out, Ivan. I think and that matter. one over there to Owen. And why does that one have a cat? I, I know she's like a yeah, beast in the disguise. I need to go talk to Kim <laughs> Safe All right. travels. Safe travels, brother. Safe travels. <laughs> let, let me have this. You see, you see him walking by, but he just ha he he doesn't really have that perky bounce to his step that you've seen before. It's more of a slump. Mm -hmm. Um. Wait. I. Uh, uh, Sirius turns to uh, Sabal. Maybe <laughs> we could take care of his problem for him, so we don't have to. So he doesn't have to worry about the pigs in the pen? Um, that wouldn't be a bad idea, but at the same time, I don't want to jeopardize everything what we are working for here. Still. Still, I care. Still, I care about our brother. As do I. All right. Dang. Uh, uh, it's all Jalar is serious. For them to the like Valil again. All right, then. I do hope he... Makes the right choice. He looked very sullen when he left. He's going through a lot at the moment, and... Hopefully at some point we might be able to ease his pain a bit. Well, he is one of our heroes. I do hope we can be of some service to him at some point. All right. uh, Amber. Hmm? Yeah. Amber, uh, where you are, you hear sounds of combat coming from the other side of this door. Oh, Cruel's in there. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. All right, sister, are you gonna Cordia, the... what do you hear? Give me a moment. Uh, she's quietly... No, no, okay, she knocks on the door. Oh, bless you, bless. All right, you hear you, you hear uh, a voice coming from the other side. It's open. All right. She pushes it open. <clears throat> yep, cruel. I All right. Knew it. You walk inside. You, as you walk in, you see a group of drow children about Rayan's age, who seem to be. Running combat drills. Two children are sparring with wooden swords. One of them, a taller, more muscular boy for his age, is being put on the, the, the on the defensive by his smaller, quicker opponent. Cruel walks up to them. No, nope, no, nope, stop, stop. What was that? The larger boy looks confused. We were following the sequence. I get that, but why exactly? The 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 two. Oh, so are there are no rules in the battlefield like, situation. That they have no idea what's going on. <sighs> all right, all right. You're twice the size of your opponent. Why are you avoiding contact? Well, the guidebook said books say a lots of things. A lot of it ain't true. You gotta think for yourself. If you blocked him head on, do you really think he's getting past you? The the boys are are st still don't seem to understand. Okay, okay. C 
Cruel turns around and points at Amber. So I'm really yawning. Yeah, over here. Boring by any means. I just. I need an example. I, it's just. I, I, I just woke Amber up. I made myself breakfast and then over. went straight to this. Literally, that. Be, for me, that's how things went. <laughs> All right. Cruel right. walks over to Amber. Look at this person. She get he he grab he grabs your hand. See this? He starts pat he starts pat he starts slapping it. Calluses. And they he he moves over to your to your upper arm and then puts his puts his hand on your bicep. You see how much muscle there is there? And then he moves over to the legs, and then just gives them a slap. See that? This is someone who could probably knock you flat on your butt with a knuckle sandwich. Cruel walks up to Amber. This bad boy can fit and so then, much fighting prowess in it. Looks at Amber directly. So, how did you learn to fight? Did you follow a manual like it was gospel? If you must know, hero cruel, survival. Hmm. Interesting. And how many fights have you won versus lost? Oh, that's a number. I'm gonna I've probably have to, to educate go back myself and find. <laughs> what would you say? How many compared to your wins? How many have you lost? <laughs> Maybe like ten percent. Well, let's just say that I'm still standing, and they are not. And that cru cruel like gives that gives a gesture to Amber. It's like. And while he's looking at the kids, that's my point. Look, kids, I'm not saying the book is completely wrong, but you need to fight with what works best for you. That uh, that reminds me. He looks towards Amber. Uh, any advice you would like to give them? Go for the eyes. Uh, uh, Amber looks to them. Try not to show pity. Learn from your mistakes. Hold your head up. Remember, you are important. Remember that others count on you. Do what you can and learn from what you have not accomplished. Never stop trying to get better. Amber crosses her arms. All right. All right, you two. Run it, run it again, but this time with everything that we've just instructed. So the two begin to spar once more, but this time the bigger kid takes Cruel's advice and Amber's advice, and is now the smaller one on the defensive as he tries to duck and weave from the larger one's blows. It goes on for about two minutes until eventually Cruel just raises his hand. All right, take a break, you two. Not bad, kids. A couple of rough edges, but you're learning fast. Just remember to use what works for you. Take advantage of your own strengths. Don't just do what a guidebook tells you all the time. The, ki the kids exit the arena, and they appear to be, you know, like, smiling. Like, beaming with pride. Excellent teach excellent teachings, brother Cole. And that cruel looks towards Amber. Uh, hey, uh, thanks for that. Never thought I'd be the one teaching this lesson to people, considering. Yes. It is interesting when you're on that side of the fence. You see, an, uh, you see another figure walk in. Uh, oh! you told us the deaths. I seem to recall teaching you much the same thing when you were younger. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I mean... Amber, get out of there! Amber, get out of there! Amber, get out of there! As I was back then, and I thought I'd help. Indeed. That is precisely why I asked our best warrior to help train them. What? what well, I, I, I mean, I, I'm not as good as you. I, I, I mean... You, you're the one who made me this good, and what? Uh, what? Well, well, I, I, I think you see that oh, this big, so hulking, monstrous drow is kind of 
looking at his feet and shuffling them from side to side. Amber, you're looking at his face, and there's an odd discoloration. Is he you realize he's blushing? blushing? You sell yourself short. In matters of combat, you have long surpassed. All right. You become a stronger warrior. Cruel's than I blushing. Ever possible, cruel. I'm proud of you. That, that that's something I never thought yeah. would. It, an image. That's an image I never thought yeah. would enter my head. You see a very just dopey grin just spread across Cruel's features, and he's just kind of rubbing his arm. Oh, stop! And we are it. all oh. very, and we are all very grateful to both of you. Uh, rhyme. Rhyme does a female version of what would be a, considered a soldier's bow. <laughs> kind words, Miss. Alora to Saren, your highness. You in the records room. Did you find what you were looking for? Yes, Brother Zalnus of Regrowth's works were very fascinating. His new research, I hadn't seen anything like it before. It was concerning, but enlightening. You see a pang flick across. Like, Robert's give a start at the way yeah. Zalnus, but then his expression just goes neutral. Again. Zalnus. She, she puts a fist over Ah, oh, how much I wish we could have I seen him in action. As well. Thank you. Even now, his wisdom is a credit to us all. As for why I'm here, I was simply taking a break from the war room and checking if other departments were running smoothly. So this is a load of my mind. Keep up the good work. I'll see you later, Cruel. Oh, he didn't recognize Amber, thank goodness. Ravis leaves the way he came. Cruel's just... just Cruel just kind of a little... Walks out with the Rihanna with a little bounce to his step. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's actually horrible. Oh. Dude. Oh. I'm gonna say out right of character. Now, Dogie's gonna get Yeah, yeah, I was about oh, to say, are. Dogie's absolutely <laughs> gonna love this. Out of character, Cruel is a poor little puppy, and I really wish he wasn't a bad guy, but I mean, he's just oh, a poor god, little wait, puppy, okay? Puppy. Just, uh, oh gosh. Uh, yeah, now Cruel and Raymond have something in common. Oh no! Yes! Yeah, we really want to. I mean, they already had a little bit of time to still. Session to give more character development to Cruel because we never meant for him to just be the silent Jason Voorhees type. Yeah. Although yeah. he does a very good job with it. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he looks looks towards uh, uh, Sirius. Looks towards the group. Yeah, you know, I almost kind of feel I almost kind of feel bad for the guy. Yes. Things Same. during the things during loads. Very uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, Jiminya walks forward, but I believe we should get back to uh, finding the. She gulps. Cattle. Ah uh, yes, the uh, the barn. Mm. I believe I believe it's up yes. north. I believe it's up north. We should probably head that way. All right. All right. So you head up north and you come to a fork in the road. As you read the signs. Yep. All right. As you read the signs, you see that one place goes to, for lack of a better word, the barn, and one goes to, uh, one goes to the palace. Mm -hmm. Let's stay away uh, from uh, that to you. one. Remember what they remember what uh, remember what they said. It's the Fire Elf children are being basically treated like royalty, so that's probably where they're at. And who's in the barn? Decisions, decisions. You should probably take a look. <laughs> But if you free them, you may not have time. So who that. thinks we should? So who should go to royalty and who should visit the sty? Ah, splitting up. I'm, so we'll have I three groups. We'll, visit the barn. we'll have a barn group, a castle oh, group, and phase group. Um, she clicks her detect thoughts medallion while uh, scratching her chest again. Just she's very itchy today, um, and she listening around other people's thoughts to see if anyone is taking any heed of their conversation. Uh, 
other than the, the, a couple of the guards that you can't really read their thoughts, yeah, you, you, no one really seems to be paying attention to you. I believe my, I believe Nyon and I are, um, we are, I, we are very interested in seeing the palace. Uh, but I think actually the barn might be a little bit more up to your alley. She looks to, um, Sirius and Sabal. Mm -hmm. Very well. Accordia? And... And uh, Brother Baron, I believe you should go as well. If they get their hands sullied by any of the cattle, you'll be able to help. Very I agree, well. Brother Baron. Uh, Accordia, my love, will you accompany us to the barn? If I must. This hmm. entire session is making my stomach hurt. It's burning I... us, you know? Uh, sister, uh, sister, sister Dritty, I, I recommend you uh, stick with Laura and. Uh, it's not quite not turning my right, stomach. Right. It is making me a bit uh, unsettled, oh, right. but it's not so, quite uh, stomach turning on, for on, me. Hold on. Um, she take she. Uh, Laura says, "What if they scream us with anti-magic?" No, oh, true. Dritty, yes, yeah, true. Dritty, come with me. Yes. All right, so the five of you are heading over to the barns while Nyon and Rhyme and... Oh, yeah, Tantamile's also going at the other group. Yeah, Tantamile, okay. the, it's nice to see that they have a beast with them. Yes. She, and she, right. and she's, she's having fun being a displacer beast. She's, like, snarling at people coming along, <laughs> looking intimidating. In her All right. <laughs> I'm scary. Yeah. Okay. 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 Scary. Okay, just out of out of uh, character. Um, displacer beasts are my favorite creature. In the oh, game. cool. Do you what's do you know what's interesting? Blink dogs. Literally, the very first monster you encountered are the natural enemies of displacer beasts. <laughs> yeah. I, I just I just love their uh, like one of their one of their abilities. It, it's just really cool. I think they just look gorgeous. <laughs> I don't even know anyway. what they look like, but anyway. I'll show you a picture. Uh, later. Think, think, think like I, pan like panthers, but they have. Like, I, I would, like, I would like, rather we tail. get on with it because yeah. we're dragging. Sorry. Right. Sorry, okay. sorry. So, so, so you enter the bathhouse. Yes, the, they're getting you a little enter the palace, and you away from go the, to the topic. bathhouse area, where you see the ch where you see the children, kind of soaking solemnly in in the pool Come into a land of enchantment Sorry, this is the first game in my mind Of course it is <laughs> Get on with it Yes, get on with it So Alright, so Nyan walks, up, Nyan walks in there they are. Hmm. Okay, so how are we going to get them out? What? Oh, we could uh, build yeah, a we'll giant walk. wooden horse. Better? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, technically speaking, I do believe I could make them invisible. Not actually casting it, just seeing if I can. Uh, touch! Oh, okay, yeah! Hmm. Where is it? So, you're both invisible. No, oh, I mean, I could make the kids invisible. Alright, but the, the, kids, the kids see you approaching, and they're kind of, like, moving backwards. I was about to say, oh, oh, don't worry, we're not actually drow, but they, they are actually drow. <laughs> <laughs> this is, shoot, I did not anticipate this. Um, she she starts look she starts looking around and she sees that a couple of uh, attendants aren't really paying attention to them. 
I don't even see I think, any I, attendance. Where are they? Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Or, I think that, yeah. It's just... Imagination. Right. Imagination. So, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But, yes, yeah, so Nyon says, all right, well, we know where they are, at the very least. So maybe we should con concoct a plan with everyone else before we actually do anything. To be honest, Nyon, and I hate suggesting this, wish we could, wish we could just, they are at least being intrusive well. Wish we could, it feels like we should. Leave them. Again, hate suggesting this, but it feels like we should just leave them here since they are being treated well until we have a better plan, or at least until we invade and can teleport them out or perhaps spell a felon's magic. Because I don't have any teleportation spells, and the only way I can make them invisible would be to touch them, and I'd have to escort them back to the teleportation pad immediately. That's... Hmm. I don't know. It's uh, On one hand, it's... What you say makes magical sense, but I'd rather get them out of here on principle. <laughs> it makes magical sense. <laughs> but at the se but at, it may yeah, it makes logical sense, but at the same time, I'd rather them out of here on principle. I know, and I understand, and I just I just don't quite know how to do so. I... That's why I suggested we go back to that we we regroup and think of a plan. Honestly, getting in, getting to the children was way easier than I thought it was uh, going to be. Wait, moving... wait, 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 wait. Does Rhyme mm -hmm. remember what the name of the uh, Fire Elf leader's uh, Fire Elf leader was? Or do Lavendia? I have to do, like, a knowledge history? Lavendia? Uh, uh, yes. No, I was about to say, so are I you talking about Lavendia, Xandro, or Queen Aurelia? <laughs> or should I just... Uh, no. Okay. She goes over to the pool and puts her hands up like she's like, I don't want to hurt you. And she, even she has her detect thoughts medallion on. Are they listening? Are they paying attention to us? Oh yeah, they they have it. Their eyes haven't left you ever since. No, you no, no. I meant. I'm so. I'm so sorry. The 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 attendants. I'm so sorry. Uh no, they still haven't noticed you yet. Okay. She puts her hands up as if like I mean you no harm. Lavendia sent us. Rhyme puts her hands up and says, Lavendia sent us. We want to take you home. They're there was an audio change there. And there was a hum now. They're 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 a little nervous. We will come back for you. We can't take you now. But we will come back for you. Rhyme tries to think of a way that they'll believe her, but she really can't think of anything. Nyon moves over to Rhyme. We'll show them with actions, not words. Of course. I just don't want them to be too afraid. All right. All right, so moving over to... Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I didn't want to have art depicting this next section for one reason or another, but I will describe it. <clears throat> okay. As you head towards the area you are supposed to go, the first thing that hits you is the smell. Oh, it no. Smells like, it smells like body odor and pollutants. <sighs> you get you get closer to the stables and what can be pathetically call, be called Beds are stacked so closely together with little in the way of anything resembling privacy. You'd swear a slaughterhouse had a slaughterhouse had more space and cleanliness. Well, then there's uh, then then there's the uh, people. You see a large collection of several races, almost looking like walking skeletons. Each have sunken in eyes, bony flesh, and shaved heads. <laughs> Surrounding them are dozens of drow guards that looking very disinterested in them. Some of them look at 
either disinterested or disgusted. Okay. I'm just gonna mute myself. I, I, I I'm just gonna to grab this. I already am picturing what this is. Yep. And Same. then it's in yep. my head, and it's not leaving. Okay, moving on. Um, not gonna vocalize it. What you're thinking yeah. about, it probably is right. Yeah. All right, so as you're kind of recovering from the shock and disgust of what you're seeing, you hear a voice echoing it, echoing on the wind. Good day, prisoners. We shall greet the midday with the daily affirmation. Until you had been rescued by the drow, your lives had been wasted. Doomed to cruel, pointless deaths and meaningless lives in your scrabble for self-gratification. But now through Ravis's magic, Oh, hey, the humble is, go is gone. You will find true peace and a meaningful end. Your lives will soon serve a higher purpose than you could have ever dreamed. Do not be afraid. Well, I was going to stab through that. For peace Empty roll quarters, but I guess now I'm not. Because I dropped it. Even the unworthy such as yourselves. I guess my leg will do. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> that was a mistake. Previous scene. Aw, oh, the draw are kind of cute. This scene. <laughs> this scene. <laughs> yeah. This scene. Let's kill a ball. That these people are bad. I think it's pretty obvious now. Amber whispers to Ivan. Yeah, uh, Ani, you're muted. Sorry, it's like, I, I was going to say, I'll give my analysis later. Just go ahead. Also, I think it might be a prompt time to also bring this fact, out. I cannot break all of these guards next in one go. What are Not with that attitude. People out at once without being noticed. Very slim, but we need to do it fast so nobody finds out about it. There's so many guards around. Uh, Jimin, yo, there's, there's so many guards around. How are we going to be able? How are we going to be able to slip by them? It's, I don't think a distraction is going to work. They'd see you that instantly. <sighs> do they all have? Do they all have amulets that disable magic? They, uh, as you look at them, they appear to have have amulets, but they do not appear to be active. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I am, I am brainstorming. I am brainstorming. I... Um, DNA, yeah, I will. Sorry. Yeah. I had an idea, but. DM, may I roll sense motive? Uh, yes. Okay. Let's see what. All right. And, let's see. Oh, uh, uh, yes. And I should also let you know. I'll, yes. And I should also let you know that there are hundreds here, possibly thousands. Oh, uh, that may. Okay. Well, my of, idea. Of guards or people? Prisoners. Of hundreds prisoners. and possibly thousands of prisoners. Okay. There is no way my plan would work. Wow. Comparing it to All a fire right. really was accurate. And even, and even if we try, even if we try to get them all out at once, it's again. It's so two are we gonna to recharge? Raise so, not to Queen Aurelia back from the dead because gone, other than a god who can't interfere, right. I so, no, she's the so, only one I can think of with a so, teleportation so spell that powerful. <laughs> some of them out. Um, all right, so all right, so I roll a thirty-six on sense motive. Uh, what are you trying to sense the motive of? Um, lo uh, looking at, uh, looking at a, uh, looking at a plan, uh, looking at a, um, trying to come up with a plan to... So, chess strategy roll. Chess strategy ah. roll. Okay. So, you're looking around, and the guards do have anti-magic amulets, however, it doesn't appear that they're, that they're active. You notice that other guards outside had anti-magic amulets but they were active as i and you made and you made a point not to get too close to them hmm. so 
whatever whatever magic would work here would probably not work out there as well as uh, unless you did something about it. Hmm. Seems like that's the obstacle we need to tackle first then. Um, okay. I just thought of another idea, but there's no way either of you would go for it. What is it? We're all sharing here. Amber pulls Jalarim and Ivan in, as well as Owen. Oh, care careful with Owen. <laughs> yeah, I'll be careful yeah. with Owen. Um, <laughs> you said they have magical amulets at the entrance. Right. Yes. If it, I were to cause yeah, a big was, enough distraction, I have a feeling. Would that give us you enough time? Essentially. To Jalaram saying not. they'll they'll sound up alarm and then I'll I the, yeah. I sense a move. Oh, Amber saying draw, next move so spring the trap. Not yeah. in, that is not that's not an option. What if about there's, if there's some clean. kind of if there's some kind of breach, then that means that those that are standing guard are going to up their security and be more alert. That's going to make things worse. What about calling Belen while the distraction's ongoing? Well, what would she be able to do? Could she, she teleport, teleport them all out? All of them? Including you. I don't know if she could get I all of them. She could get a lot, but... Mm. No, no I, I would take, it would take multiple fairies to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Belene's the only one we can really reason with. Maybe we should meet, maybe we should meet up with... Um, uh, Ryman. Nyon. Uh, sorry, maybe we should, sorry, we should meet up with um, uh, Alora. And see, and see if we can come, uh, uh, butt heads together, see if we can get both the uh, Fire Elves as well as these prisoners. Can't All right. Just, can't just take a batch of them, Ivan. It's either all of them or none of them. I know. That's why I said the more resources, the better. If it's possible to get all of these out with more combined efforts, we need to take it. At least now we know the lay of the land and we can tell report back with what we know so we can come up with a better plan. All right. All right. Let, let's let's meet back up with with Ryan, uh, so with, uh, with the Alora. All right. So you all re you retreat from the stables and you meet back up with Nyon and Alora. So. <clears throat> but what do you say? We have a bit of a situation. You're muted, honey. <laughs> As do we. What's what's going on? Well, you share we first. We found them, but we have absolutely no way of getting out. I mean, I could turn them invisible, and we could have snuck by them, but trying to keep five frightened children quiet would be very... I do have zone of silence if you want my assistance for that. <sighs> but then we could only get those children out and not the rest of the prisoners. I'm assuming that you saw what you yeah. saw. And the palace yeah. is a government... And the, and the palace is a government building. It has, it has anti-magic field guards in, in the front of it, but then again, those have to be activated. And they weren't at, and they were, were they at, did you happen to see if they were active when you walked in? Uh, they checked, they checked us but as we walked in, but that's about it. Well, that means that they're probably only checking people that they know are approaching. If we're invisible and they never see us coming, perhaps we could slip out unnoticed. Mm. The problem mm. is that, that I don't have enough invisibility for all of you and all of the children. How much do you have? I have code of. I do have a code of invisibility. I mean, invisibility sphere. Excuse me. Let me see. Hold on one moment. Uh, legit looking up. Hang on. Yeah, because we could combine our efforts. Maybe make a greater zone. I have six uses, which would be enough for you, Ivan, and the five children. All right. Well, she called him Ivan. Guards are on to us. Let me take a look at my own as well, just to be sure. All right, um, 
Anyone who can surround me within 10 feet, if I use Invisibility Sphere, will be able to be hidden as well, so good to know that. The problem is, we'd have to find some place to cast the Zone of Invisibility. Uh, I could keep my Amulet of Detect Thoughts on you, that way I'd always know where you are. Hmm. But, it's just, finding privacy down here is nearly impossible. True. There's always well, someone down your neck. Well, Belial, Belial's currently absent. Go use his hut. We could use his home. Should be. It wasn't locked when, it, when, it, when we left. I think that's a, I think that's a, that's, a, that's an idea. I don't think he'll what, mind. Okay. Then what I think should happen is Mayon and I will stay here. I will have my medallion turned on. You go turn on the you do zone of invisibility and yes. stay close and hold on to each other, stay close together. Right. When All you right. return when you return, I will be able to detect you with my thoughts. Nyon and I, I'll turn off the medallion for a brief moment, but Nyon and I will go up to the front and um, get screened and we'll go in. You will follow us once they have turned the medallions back off. I will turn my medallion back on so I can still track you, and you will follow us to where the children are. All right. Um, and where are we going to put the children when we get them out? We're not, uh, they will also be under invisibility. So what I, what I'm going to place each one of them under invisibility. They will hold on to one of you. All right. And we'll, basically you'll all follow so, us out into a line and we'll immediately yeah. go back to the table. That's spider bite. All right. Something bit me in the night. Oh, but it, just in case, um, Jalm takes out the, um, the potion of move without trace since they're, uh, where where exactly are the kids? A bathhouse. Bath yeah, house. water's okay. go yeah water's gonna make noise. You're gonna have to have them uh, take a swig of this. Okay, I will take it and. Well, I did say I had zone of silence, but you don't want to waste it. We could do that. Yes. That would actually be better because there are attendants nearby. Yes. That way they wouldn't. Right, that way they wouldn't hear us speaking to the children saying, hey, we're here to help you. Yes. I just hope this works. I truly hope this works. And the At worst, least... I can pick a couple up. Yes. Yeah. That could be comforting. Nyon? Nyon? Yes? Are you prepared to perhaps you and I fight our way out? Hmm. I want them to get out as easily as possible. They can go whatever direction they want to. They can jump out of a window for all I care, as long as we provide a distraction. Hmm. They get the kids out. That is the most important thing. We can get the kids out and still not cause a scene. We're just going to have to be very careful. I know, but I'm just asking, if it comes to that, are you ready? <sighs> she, she's... You see that she's hesitating a little bit. I don't know. I don't want it to come to that either. No, it's just... <sighs> Julverin is my cousin. Oh, goody, that means she's mine too. Um... It, it's... She was part of our organization. But then she was Nani? captured and Elvana changed. likely placed under doctor's orders. Yes. That's right. We were told a while ago that Elvana El that Jewel the thing is when you got treated there, by got uh, treated by Elvana to a cross. What a that week lucky, for this to come out when it has that phrasing. Venom, venom only mutilates their bodies. The doctor, 
She mutilates your soul. Uh, Rhyme, thinking of Faye, says, I swear, I don't intend to kill anyone. I will try, at least. But are you ready to incapacitate? No one said anything about kill. Now it's... I'm... You've seen the way Jewel acts. I'm scared of... becoming that. I won't let you. You're sure? Of course. I mean... You've seen my work. Faye's taking care of Alana right now, so, you know. <laughs> well, if I can count on you to make sure I die as myself, then I think that's good enough for me. If that's what you wish. All right. Let's do this. All right. All right. All right. So, step one. Panic. Um, probably, probably need to be on. Uh, yes, that is a good uh, step uh, one. <laughs> yeah. Or I could just right. we could we could say we're there and I could cast it if you want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So going to move. So, you're moving towards the Drow Palace and before, but what? When you're sure that no one is seeing you, you cast the uh, spheres of invisibility and silence. Sphere of invisibility and zone of silence. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. That one didn't go through. Hang on. Yeah, vis vis visibility, I think you have to click on yourself. That's why it won't work. Yeah. Uh, but let's just say I casted it if you want. Or Josh can uh, force cast it. Yeah. yeah. Give me one second. I'm going to try and do that. Okay. Sheet spells. Okay. So I don't know. That was caught on camera, but I may or may not have accidentally just okay, creatures. thrown Two the penny of feels into my dice. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a little over two hours. We got affected, so we can, if we're in the zone, we can still see each other. So we'll be able to keep an eye on the kids. Yeah. So, yeah. But keep in mind that this uh, invisibility sphere and zone of silence, it's a uh, look at the different radiuses. So you're going to have to be like a little bit bunched up. Yeah, we'll, we'll huddle together. Yes. Uh, Tantamile goes on top of uh, Am uh, Amber's head. Could I make a request on their behalf, Josh? Sure. All Can right. Hat swap because reaching to my side is easier than reaching behind me. Maneuver your piece of roll 20. Yeah. Yeah, I'm de that's basic. Yeah, I'm gonna it's basically say it's notional for a lot of this. Yay! Okay. What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> like, uh, notion notional basically pretend it's there. Okay. Yeah. It's like it's like when you're doing a when you're doing field ops. It's like okay, we're going to look for a uh, notional weapons cache. Uh, there, all your engagements will be notional. And since we didn't have any, we didn't, uh, we so we don't have money. any round. We don't, we, so we don't have the, so we don't have any rounds. So your, so your engagements and shots will also be notional too. Should we make yeah. also check few noises, sir? <laughs> oh, yes, you may. Uh... Also, Chow is, also, also Chow is also notional. So I hope you brought food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, I, right. think we I did have there. food. Right, like right so, before uh, I started this recording. On. So, is this everyone under it, or is it just, or are Nyan and Rhyme excluded? Nyan and Rhyme are excluded. That way, it because they gotta get us in first. So, you yeah, know. that way okay. it doesn't look tr it's suspicious. Yeah. All right, so Rhyme and Nyan are enter back in. They briefly get scanned by the anti magic amulets before walk before they are let inside. And the rest of you kind of very huddle closely together, but making sure not to touch Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Insert Drake and Josh reference here. Ah. Uh. 
Well, find that clip or... when doing Funniest yes. Moments 37. Cool. Probably. Um, Rhyme has her medallion of Detect Thoughts on. All right. I have an idea. Yeah. Amber, you carry two children. Mm. Okay. I, uh, to... I, I think actually it would be better if the children were carried instead of follow us. So if Jaminia, if some of you can take two, that would be great because I don't think Ivan can take any and I don't want Owen to take any. I'm still casting the spell. I can't do anything right now, so... Even even better. Okay, and it's like, Amber kind of just looks at Rhyme, and it's like, Dragon, hello? I could probably take as many as I can carry. Yeah, but in Dragon form, you're not going to be inside take, the sphere, They don't look very though. heavy. If one climbs on my back, I can carry two, two, and two on, one in each one arm. Climbs. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, ja and then Jalarum and I mean you're invisible. Jalarum and Jaminia, please take one each as well. Uh, we'll do. We'll do. That way, right. that way, they're both under the under both zones. You can't. Um, I'm hearing you guys through detect thoughts. You're not actually like saying anything because you know zone of silence. Mm -hmm. um, yep. But yeah. So I love this medallion. Thank. you. I, I begged him for it. I'm like, please, this could be useful, and it works with her character. Um, <laughs> all right, so you enter. So Rhyme and Nyan enter in and see the children, and then. And then apparently the Nyan gives Rhyme a payback ride. I'm not sure what to think. Ah, oh, seems Nyan threw her off. Yeah. Perhaps next family reunion. I'm going to get you out. And get you home. Please. We have a way to get you out of here unseen and unheard. Will you trust us? Hmm. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to have to ask you to roll diplomacy, Rhyme. Yahoo! You're on your own, guys. Why don't I do dice? I can't help with that. I do dice. What the <gasps> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You, you asked, you asked, and they answered. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Actually, I can yeah, because bro. sentient bleeding dice. You did it. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, don't die. Please don't die. Sorry, You can blame it all on Zach. Okay, so the scream was legit, and that's why I was coughing. I'm sorry. I was just like, oh my god. So the kids look at your at your gentle face and also looking at Nyon's face. They they're looking between each other and it's a sort of naive trust, but you can tell that they do want to, that they do trust you. I just realized how this actually fits even better. Mm -hmm. Not only is it, does it fit the, you know, the dramatic moment and stuff, but as harsh as Rhyme is, it's been established from the very first session we met her, she's always been good with kids. Sentient! Rhyme sort of... Dies! Like, says everyone. Why? Um, and she starts loading the children into, slash onto <laughs> the people. Yep. Everybody so, on the bus. Okay. Okay. Everybody uh, in everybody in the bus. Yes. Um. So Ryan is a bus. So, so who's Miss Frizzle? Uh, I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rhyme, Rhyme and Nyon. Who? who would, I guess I would be Miss Frizzle because he's technically. They never came out. He's got the so they're not zone of silence and the sphere yeah. of invisibility. Um, so you guys just you know where to go. Okay. Wait. So, oh, so he's uh, technically sorry, driving the bus. Before he does, uh, Jalrum, um, yeah. just, just in case, just in case the zone of silence fails, um, uh, he, he uh, gives the bottle of um, uh, pass without of trace. the of the pass without trace to one of the kids. Like, just, just like take us. We get this just in case, uh, just in case this doesn't work. Well, last fourteen hours, I think we'll be okay. 
I was supposed okay. to save you from that, but all right. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, it, it Nyan just, says. Just, yeah. All right. So, Nyan looks at looks to Ryan. All right. So we're just going to wait here. For what? All right. They're going to the teleport pad. We should at least wait a moment and then follow after. Yes. We need All to right. get back to that teleportation pad ASAP. I just want them to get clear of the castle. That way, in case they start suspecting us, they won't get caught up in it. All right. They don't so have a shall... reason. They don't have a reason to suspect us. But... Hmm. All right. <laughs> so a few te- a few tense uh, like about a minute passes very very tensely when you hear footsteps walking towards the stop stops <laughs> walking towards the bathhouse it's like uh can i you uh, can i detect them with my detect thoughts or no uh yes okay uh then i am cast i don't know why but please tell me it's jewel Please tell no, me it's the Jewel. Kids are, the kids are not in the bathhouse, so. I just on Please Google tell me it's Jewel. Nyan. Yeah, and then not. Please yeah, yeah, tell me point, it's Nyan's Jewel. Like, Maybe we should run now. Yes, we are. Begin <laughs> running, 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 running. Two things of invisibility. All right, so. And we're not going. We're not going out the front door. All right. <laughs> so, all right. So everyone's walking out. It's a pretty bathhouse. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a wait a minute. It's like, where's that person coming from? And Nyan says, "Where's that person coming from?" And then oh. you point. Do you point it out? Yeah, sure. I guess. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Nyan moves to. Nyan moves to. Where is it? I just had it. All right. Please. Ow! Also, moves to where mm, the attendant was, that the attendant was approaching. But, yeah, you can't. Move. Moves to where the attendant was approaching. Uh, quickly, quickly. Okay, no, it's her, not Jewel. Cups her, hand, cups her hand over her mouth, and then uh, you can tell, you can see her squeeze it, squeezing her neck. <laughs> It's like you, you hear you, you hear muffling coming from the uh, you hear muffling coming from the fr- from the attendant before she just like slowly falls limp. Don't worry, she's not dead. She's just passed out. Where can we put her so she wouldn't raise suspicion? Uh, How many later... abilities do you have? <laughs> no. I, I was gonna say, I'm gonna uh, put her in the bath, in the bath, um, uh, <laughs> lean her up against the wall, put some sunglasses on her. And all of a sudden, someone just walks over, just trips into the pool. No, no, no. What I'm imagining, what, this whole, like, you know, a drow comes in, sees all the children gone. All I'm thinking is that seed in Robin Hood men in tights. I just found it was good news and. and I'm in deep poop. <laughs> um, I was my mind went to uh, that like, one, one benches, skit like, from yeah, uh, Arizona yeah, Circle. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, that makes sense. Where they just yeah. someone kept yeah. where I'm uh, in trouble for insubordination. They, they killed their boss, duty, but she won't die. and someone walked in, so they had to kill him too. Uh, and just uh, as they uh, keep trying uh, to do stuff with the bodies, and someone keeps coming in, and so they keep having to kill more people. Anyway, at least we didn't kill her. Which is unusual for Ryan. <laughs> it's not one you. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I'm right, sitting so here. One... Wait, at, no. After that, after that, so after you guys as it exit the palace with uh, a couple kids in tow, I think we are going to hop across the continent. Yay, no Nora! All right. <laughs> oh yeah, it, Gareth and Faye too. It's a love affair. Nora! Uh, you teleport into Lefether with Gareth and Lenore. What do you do? Do either of you need anything like potions or anything like that before we go to House of Legolas? Because I don't know what will happen when we set foot in there. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll be. We'll try and watch from the outside, 
until until it, it appears that you need us. All right. And and Nora said, "Yes, surprise attacks are my specialty." All right. Just out of sight. I was supposed Look, to come here alone. Yeah, I was about to say the Lord did say come uh, alone anyway, right. so. And Walking in with a happens, posse may not be the best the uh, deal. Okay, Faye makes her way to House Falegoar. She stops outside of, and she stops outside yes. of it. Yes. Is this her first time you back to your childhood home since as you Little take Songbird? The familiar scenery it awakens memories of your childhood. Yeah. A strange tingle enters the pit of your stomach. You feel as if strange ghosts haunt the place. Shuddering the, shuddering the, that, all, that off and, re, and stealing your resolve. Right. You enter house Halegalar. And after you enter, it's like this will be helpful if this would work. Come on. Okay. And there's Urthor, Corwell, and Yerlissa. All right, you are right here. Wait, that's. Oh, right, she makes fakes. Gosh, I'm so dumb. Um, OBS, please. Okay. I saw. Okay, new computer I have. I, I, that was I saw Imer and I'm just like, wait, what? what? That I remembered. Oh, right. She. <laughs> this would be the first time we've seen Imer and Elvana in the same room in season four. While she's doing her work. Anyway. All right, so you enter, as you enter the house, you are greeted by a shocking sight. Three Wait. familiar figures appear to be suspended Wait. in the air and unmoving. Is Elvana by green spelled with one or two? Because I've always used two because that's what I've seen Shay use. In your father's but chair. right there, it's only one. And what's odd is that her feet are pushed onto Imer in an elven body. You know it's not real, Faye. You oh, know yes. it's not real. Very good. You see, Fairy Thern, this is to, this is my way of showing you that I meant what I said. You, stand up. You see Imer just stand up and his head held low. Imer, what color is the sky? Green. It is green. And if Faithurin says it is blue, then, then. Then it's blue. You see him, like, visibly shivering and shrinking. Ah. I can assure you that. Oh, Imer kind of wants well us to actually be Imer now. <laughs> As are the rest of them, though the others might still need a little bit more work. The feckless mother, the bratty cousin, the apathetic uncle, and the heartless father. All arbiters of your suffering, free for the punishment of your choosing. At least I had got this gift trained before you got here. Now say thank you. 
Say thank you to me, Faye uh, Theron. Uh, Where have I heard that before? How dare you echo the greatest like character of all time! Uh, I'm assuming you're going to Skype that to me? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I'm respecting the channel rating. Go fiddle dee dee yourself. Go fudge yourself. Uh, Ooh, yeah. fudge sounds delicious right now. Yeah, let's go. Yes, yeah, let's have some. <laughs> Send it to me too, Faye. I'm cu uh, Ellie, I'm curious. Um, yeah, uh, I'll tell me later. I'm, I'm muting. Moop. Hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I guess it wasn't a simple F you then, if that was the reaction. I applaud. Uh, wow. I mean, of all the things I expected, that one wasn't it, but <laughs> I, I mean, I expected... I'm gonna guess I it was nasty. I, I expected a I, I expected a vitriolic response, but I underestimated how vitriolic. <laughs> it's flipping Ellie. What were you expecting? <laughs> it, it was he it, it was some, has simultaneously point. exactly and not at all what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hang on, Bliss. I'll Elvana, Skype it to you too, since you asked. Right. Oh, thank you. All right. So, uh. Oh, me too, me too. Yeah, um... <laughs> uh, uh, you see it? See it. Oh, you know me too, me too. No, please don't, please don't send it to me. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Alright, so, so Elvana's smile just slowly, just slowly lowers. I am not enjoying being treated this way. I tried to do something nice for you, and you're spitting in my face. Or something nice for me is treating my family this way? Yes. They treated you terribly. And I chose to rise above it. This is not a gift. This... This is a punishment for not obeying you. A punishment? No. Why not See? both? Oh, dear, dear. You're looking at this spot too wrong. Listen. Now this I really want to see Elvana and Jewel much. interact, just to see like how see, Elvana I've interacts with someone that's already to the very core gone through everything to get them she to does. Cooperate. Using a combination of spells, soulbind, true resurrection, <sighs> etc. I'm sure you and I could talk for hours about magic or books. Or, or magical books. a mind as clever as yours. And all of this can stop if you just say two words. Hello there. I'm sorry. Wait, was wait, is it voice? Oh wow, it is. Okay. Wait, where? Oh no, the um the magic seal looks like the st the seal of Orichalcos, but anyway, um I have no idea what that is, so I'm just gonna let's take their word for it. Faith Thurn looks at her family and at her mother in particular. They they appear to have like glossed over faces. They don't appear to be to have any sort of stimulation going on. It's almost like they're asleep in the air. You want to help me? Then help me to understand. Hmm. 
I would think it would, I think it would be perfectly natural for someone to wish retribution on those who have wronged them. She looks at Imer and she points at him specifically. How? As I said, soul bind, true resurrection, and a little bit of special magic on my own. I'm sure you've enjoyed my spell book. And I know I did ask you to bring me something, but at this point it's moot. Oh, uh, right. Jewel, but yeah. She's already back, so. Mm. Yes, he really is alive again. Wait, what? And he's free for Literally? you to do whatever you want to him. You could... I'm gonna be back! ...inflicting just a fraction of the suffering he caused you. Doesn't he deserve that much? Well, at least Byleth will be happy. There, what he did. But should it, is it not the right thing to do? Is it not right for someone who has been wronged as much as you to get what they deserve? I have. By finding the people that love me and that I love. I don't need retribution, and I don't need to see people suffer. I don't understand why you do. Hmm. Then it appears that I will have to show you. Aetherin quickly tells Lucid to fly somewhere else. Maybe right. you could not, though, Elvana. I'm going to have to ask you. You guys roll initiative. To roll initiative. Hey, yep. Lucid's chilling in this tree over here. Tune in next time. <laughs> He's over here. He's over in this this tree right over here. I see it. All right. This is a long chapter. This is still the same chapter as when Ravis killed the kid. So in my villains video, I said I really wanted to see Jewel wow me. Now that I know she's related to Rhyme, I want that even more. And also, yeah, apparently Imer's back for real this time. But he is bra Elvana brainwashed to follow Faye. So we could just Get him to grab a dagger and be like, yeah, let's send you back. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, that, the barn. I was not expecting it to go that far. I honestly was not. And Valeo, man, Valeo. I still hold true to what I said. I don't think he's going to go full on anti, go go fully against Ravis and betray the Drow. But I would be down for it to happen. Yeah, that was a really, that was a really good episode.